This is the beginning of a long trip. Not so fast. Another eight hours, I'm afraid. Up again. Man, this is so tiring. I know. Back in South Africa. Okay, there's a reason why we're here in South Africa, and it's about four hours' drive away from Johannesburg. I think we're here. Hey, Kwakwa. This is what I've been dying to show you since we arrived here in South Africa. We're here today for this. The dedication of the Kwa Kwa House of Worship, finally. Not only is this the eighth house of worship dedicated since the ecclesiastical district's creation, but the 3,432nd in the whole world since 2009. Absolutely staggering for just a decade. I caught up with Sister M.M., one of the pioneers of the Church of Christ in Kwakwa since the early 90s. When I first got into the church, I, I didn't think before that it will go as big as this. As the years passed, the congregation had to move to different venues to accommodate the increasing number of brethren attending the worship services. Before, I, I just praying that one day there could be a church for many more people. And their prayers were eventually answered with the most magnificent structure for miles around. Today, with the house of worship, it's like the happiness is overflowing. This is our sanctuary. Not only that, look at this. The inauguration of the first ever garment factory outside of the Philippines that will provide many hundreds of South Africans with a means of employment. In just a few years, FYM Foundation garment factories have been providing thousands of people in poor communities with secure and decent employment. And with this site in Kwa Kwa being the first outside of the Philippines, this is really just the beginning. How do you pronounce Kwa Kwa? Kwa Kwa. Kwa Ah, again, again, again. Kwa Kwa. Spelled Q W A. Why there's a click in the Kwa Kwa? Kwa Kwa. Am I doing it? Yeah. All right. They're about to cut the ribbon now for the inauguration of the garment factory. The inauguration of the first garment factory outside. The Philippines. Okay, right now we're uh, actually going inside the garment factory. Normally, one wouldn't expect much walking into a clothing factory. But what I forgot to consider was the 450 people inside whose lives had been changed because of it. Wow, listen to that. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh, my goodness. So many workers. Gosh, so many workers. This is unbelievable. This is truly, look at the scale of this place. How many jobs being provided for so many people who need work? This is really incredible. It's overwhelming. Yeah, the way I see it. Giving us opportunity to earn, you know, to earn something for us. It's going to change our lives for, for real, for life. So it's a good thing. I, we really glad that you came here. I can't even describe it. I'm grateful I am. The councillor of Kwakwa explained why initiatives like this are vital. Right now, we, we are one of the provinces that we are having high unemployment. You, you can see outside there, many people are there are still find to get that job. Before the dedication, as we were driving into the compound, there was a massive group of people gathered at the gate. 
Listen to their reaction when I ask them how they were. How are you, how are you? How are you? No, you want to work. You want to work. That, that's why. That's why it is built to give work. Yes. yes. We will wait. We have a passion. And God willing, they won't have to wait too long. The resident minister, Brother J.B. Suryo, along with those who are entrusted to run the factory and train the workers, Brother Larry and Sister Ruby Ojeda, told me that the church administration is already considering expanding the factory's capacity to almost double the number of workers. How amazing is that? Even other government officials express their amazement. I, I would say that to me, the first time I hear of a church opening, this sort of, 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 of job opportunities for our people. Deep in my heart is for the first time I see a church doing this in the community. And when asked about her reaction on the events of the day? Yo, I see the miracle of God. So I am very, very, very happy. I'm very happy today. Look at this, we also have a, an aid for humanity today. It's just a day full of giving. They're provided with a means of livelihood. They're receiving their food packages. So at least they have something to bring home for their families. But most importantly, they uh, receive the spiritual nourishment that they need. The worship service earlier on with uh, a house of worship dedicated right next to the building. It's just all giving, all giving. What we witnessed in Kwakwa is just one of the amazing works God is performing, not only in the country, but throughout the continent. If you can keep up, together we'll witness and experience his miracles in South Africa to Sierra Leone, Liberia to Ghana, and God willing, many, many more stories to tell. Something to truly celebrate about.